What's up reefers, welcome back to Ashes Reef and to my 150 gallon mixed reef system. You are looking at my basement fish room, 125 gallon sump. In this episode today I will be discussing about bubble scrubbing method which was invented a couple of years ago by Elegance Coral up in Chicago. A link to their Facebook page will be dropped down in the description below. So what is bubble scrubbing? So before we jump into how to set up bubble scrubbing, I would like to talk about a little about what this filtration method does to your tank and uh, how does it helps in uh, coral growth as well as uh, raising your pH. Basically you inject small little tiny micro bubbles through your return pump into your main display and what this does these micro bubbles are further spread out into your display based on the flow in your tank and it allows the corals to release excess slime and waste from their skin when they release the excess slime these bubbles pick up those slime and then direct them down to the overflow which eventually make it to your skimmer the second advantage what this bubble scrubbing method does is the coral membrane it allows the coral membrane to breathe and allow for better osmosis and ion exchange with the water column it also oxygenates the water and degasses the excess co2 in the water column out of the system uh, yes the skimmers and the cheeto uh, also do the exact same thing but they are not sufficient enough uh, to take care of your whole display uh, the other thing that it does is it improves the pH because if you run this late at night uh, you know against your display tank lighting uh, your pH in the tank will be stable because you are injecting more oxygen into your tank into your water volume uh, it also assists in the higher beneficial aerobic bacterial loads because you are injecting oxygenation also it decreases the bad anaerobic cyanobacteria that many harvest struggle with the micro bubbles also helps in getting rid of dinoflagellates and cyanobacteria again it all depends on the flow in your display and carry them over to the overflow uh, thereby again to be removed by the efficient skimmer so in order to set this method you will need a small air pump and a wooden air stone the reason why you need a wooden air stone is because you need to inject tiny little micro bubbles your regular air stone will not give you those bubbles so as you can see I set this thing up and the micro bubbles are been injected using my return pumps intake line so these tiny little bubbles eventually make it to your display uh, through your return pump and once they are in your display your power heads will disperse them all over your tank so you really need good amount of flow in your tank to be able to spread this micro bubbles all over your display I have set this thing up on a blue light so you guys can see how tiny the bubbles should be you will you should not be seeing you know uh, big bubbles and as you can see the corals are releasing the slime of their skin this excess slime is eventually picked up by your overflow and directed to your skimmer so you run this you know in the beginning you should start it slowly I would suggest start with an hour a night and then gradually you could increase it and you know uh, elegance corals suggest this to run pretty much for seven to eight hours so pretty much the entire night and uh, you know but uh, you gotta you know gradually increase those number of hours don't just uh, you know straight away go into the eight hour period I am um, on my third week and I am uh, just today I increased it to the three hour period so it really helps the corals uh, to breathe and you know release anything 
on their body all the excess slime is been picked up by a skimmer and yes i know a lot of people might be thinking that it might disturb the corals and uh, it might uh, go under the bubbles might get stuck under the crevices but if you have porous rocks uh, even if you don't the bubbles eventually will become a big bubble and they will uh, you know uh, make their way to the surface so you do not have to worry about it and after i set this thing up I, what i saw the instant reaction was of course from the corals releasing the slime and then here is something that i saw immediately the skimmate on in my skimmer cup was dark black and it was telling me that this thing definitely works i'm hoping this video was helpful and uh, if you guys like this video definitely uh, you know feel uh, do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button uh, below if you have any questions please go ahead and i will try my best to answer once again the link to uh, the elegance corals will be uh, to their facebook page will be dropped down below so uh, i'm hoping uh, you enjoyed this video uh, until next video happy reefing take care